Hi all, in this video I will show you how to work with backup in Jenkins and how we can simplify our work, at least a bit. So we have Jenkins and if you are administrator you don't want to lose it in some emergency case and, uh, and you should have a backup of your system. It doesn't matter if you are administrator and it's Jenkins or it's your system and you are software engineer, always you have to have backup, backups. And in this video I will show how to create these backups and uh, how we can simplify our work with other plugins and features. So let's open our server and uh, check what we have in Jenkins library. In Jenkins folder we have uh, such files. So here we have a huge number of different files, uh, jobs, logs, uh, workspace, and um, one of the possible options to save a backup and create backup is just uh, take all these files, copy them and uh, save on some different folder or different uh, machine. In different folder it's not a good idea because in case um, your server will be lost you lose you will lose all backups so you need to save this because on another physical machine but uh, why save everything uh, is not the best idea because here we have workspace folder for example and here might be a lot of different files uh, copied from github repository or there are some artifacts or build results which can take a huge amount of memory and there is no reason to save it but for example jobs we can go here and check that we have a lot of jobs and let's open some and here we see that uh, we have config files, it's xml config file configur configuration over and it's small file text file and uh, it's part what we should to save and it's a really important part so how can we do it? Let's go to our man Jenkins, open man Jenkins and check one useful plugin which can help us it's a uh, scene backup let's check available plugins this one let's install it let's install without restart okay success and let's go to jenkins and check what do we have let's go to manage jenkins and here we have new option scene backup let's open it and we see, here we can see that we have res backup now restore and setting let's try to open backup now what do we have nothing because we need to configure it let's open configuration and uh, here we can configure it. So the first one is a backup directory. It's a directory where we should put our backup. Uh, it should be some uh, file on some server machine. It will be should be some backup server, and then we save our backups. Uh, also, we here we can uh, configure cron cron job for uh, our full backups. Uh, we already discussed what is cron and how to configure it and also we have uh, the same cron job for differential backups it's not full backups just some part of them also we can configure number of backups and uh, what should be backupped we can add the everything what we need it's very useful useful plugin and uh, another plugin i will show you today this plugin will help you to simplify your work and uh, let's check how it works let's open manage plugins go to plugins available and uh, open config history job config history let's install what's the plugin it is uh, let's imagine that uh, you have your server and a lot of jobs and somebody changed something in your job for example github and they start configure it configure it and uh, somebody changed something and uh, right now your job doesn't work and it might be branch was changed also there was added some added some text and um, it was saved and after that your job doesn't work and uh, by default from the box Jenkins do not save history of your jobs and what was changed and this plugin now we can see it it's here job config history we can open it and uh, here we we see our the history of all changes in our file so we can check it and now it's our version it's current version because uh, plugin was installed after we created the job and it didn't save a previous version but if we go to configure again and we will change it, change it back delete this one it's saved and uh, job config history we see that we have another one we can restore all configuration we have such button and let's check it it's the same file but uh, we can click show div and uh, here we see what was changed and 
it very similar to GitHub and Git at all. Uh, it shows what was changed, uh, the previous version and the last one. The previous version and current one. And it can help uh, simplify your work because you know what was changed, by who it was changed, the user and uh, when it was changed. So in case something doesn't work, you always can find what was changed and have to restore con previous configuration. And uh, it should simplify your, your work. And also one more thing, I will show you how to backup, we will return to backups, how we can backup our Jenkins and we will use benefits of using Google Cloud Platform. So here we have our server Jenkins and as we use in Google Cloud Platform, we can create a snapshot of our server. The whole server will be saved. So we, we can create a snapshot of the whole our server. Let's go to snapshots and uh, create snapshot. We will call it Jenkins and source this, it will be Jenkins. Uh, locations United States, it's multi-regional, regional, and just create. And now you will have this uh, snapshot of your server and in case your server will be deleted or something will happen, you can always delete it and restore from uh, snapshot. It's very useful and I use it very often for other my jobs or other projects. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching.